Access Theater in our Showbiz Focus. Personal disabilities don't stand in the way of acting ability for members of this special Southern California theatrical troupe. Dennis Michael has the story in Hollywood. Access Theater's production, The Legend of the Crystal Waters, is both spoken and delivered in sign language for the benefit of the hearing impaired in the audience. But the access in Access Theater does not stop at the proscenium arch. The cast features several deaf and hearing impaired actors, not to mention an actress in a wheelchair. If you call the troupe Handicap Theater, though, you'll get an argument from artistic director Rod Latham. If we were a handicapped theater, we would have problems doing things because handicaps get in the way of abilities. We are, we are a theater that can, not a theater that can't. A lot of shows that are done for hearing people, I cannot get involved because of, um, you know, they have to have perfect speech, you know, and stuff like that, and which I don't have. I have, you know, some speech impediment. And so to do a theater with the deaf, you know, and involve sign language is very rare. It comes up not very often, so it's like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We don't want to be put out there as objects. See, look, this is a handicapped actress. We want to be looked at as any other actor with talent. And says Rod Latham, audience members who come expecting a couple of hours with Jerry's kids come away very surprised. That's not what, what they, they got. Um, there's a blurring of distinctions between um, hearing and non-hearing actors, disabled and non-disabled actors. And because of that blurring, um, what they end up seeing is an entertaining, enlightening show. <laughs> Do you remember the sign for water? Children at the end of this performance of The Legend of the Crystal Waters linger to learn more about signing from the cast. Hopefully when they leave, they have uh, subtly changed their attitudes about people that communicate in a different mode or um, use a different mode of mobility. And for the actors, the reward is more traditional. Applause, even for those who can't hear it. You can feel the audience. And the people backstage will tell us, you know, that they're clapping or they're cheering or they're saying boo to me especially. The Access Theater Group was recently honored by the California State Office for Employment of the Handicap. It gave the troupe the appropriately named Media Access Award. Access Theater has a new play, Storm Reading, now in rehearsal. Dennis Michael, CNN, Hollywood. Joining us now live in our Hollywood studios is actress Dawn Jeffrey Nelson, who is also an Emmy Award winning producer and writer for her work on the Silent Network television series Offhand. I would assume until very recently, if somebody had a handicap such as deafness or any other, they wouldn't even have thought of becoming an actor. When did that start to change? Well, in actuality, I've been involved with those kinds of changes for maybe the last 10 years. But it's really been since the advent of Children of a Lesser God, especially the yeah. film and Marley's Award, that it's really changed. The last two years have shown a lot of work for deaf and hearing impaired actors on TV, as well as the very able disabled community. Now, working within a group such as we just saw is one thing, but is it still very, very difficult for actors that have any physical handicap to get work in, uh, in mainstream theater, movies, or television? Well, it's tough for any actor, so of yeah, course... we know that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. So you multiply the fact that there are still those producers and directors and writers that are afraid that there's going to be a problem in production, a holdup in time or money. And as Silent Network and, and Access Theater aptly prove, all you get actually are some very, very talented people you might not have seen otherwise. Now, what is the audience reaction uh, to a play which has both sound and sign to it? Do some people say, hey, that's uh, a little bit of overkill, it's too much, I don't need both? No, actually, um, you find that they're quite delighted. The wonderful thing about Rod's last show is that we all became children again because it was so wonderful to see communication so clearly in front of your eyes, in your ears, all around you. And it, it accentuates compliments, not overkills it. I notice you semi-sign as you speak. Unfortunately, between being Jewish and a signer, I can't talk without my hands. <laughs> God, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Okay, Liz and I will take a short break, and we'll be right back after these messages. Still to come on show.